I think it's really important for there to be a cross, there should, there should be an exchange program between Europe and the United States and European architects and United States architects. We have as much to learn from them as they do from us culturally. Uh, there are different scale issues, there are different urban design issues, architectural technology is different and so trading that information is a great opportunity for HOK. For us to have, we speak 23 languages in the New York office, and that's something that's great about working in New York City and having a melting pot of culture and architectural ideas. And so to have additional talent to contribute to an international practice is really important to our core values as an architectural practice. You look at different ways of doing things in different parts of the world, there are different scale issues, there are different textural and craft issues and so it's really important to have a dialogue with architects who are doing that and to train architects who are doing that so we can share our knowledge between different cultures. Well, I remember what it was like when I was a 20 year old architect and a 25 and 30 and 35 year old architect and it's really important that uh, we show how to be professionals, how to do design work, and to pe give people from all over the world the opportunities that we had as we were young architects moving through the cycle of learning and growing here in New York. What I find is there's a thirst for knowledge. Uh, International students are hungry to learn how we do work in the United States, how we do work in New York specifically. Uh, this is a creative city and we find architects from all over the world want to work here. And so by mentoring them and learning from them, uh, we have a chance to have this cultural exchange between our two countries. The advantage of bringing different skill sets and different talents into the New York office is that culturally every country has different ways of how they view the world, how they assemble their projects. And it's important to understand, especially with European architects, that there is an urbanity to their work and there is the understanding of how different layers of people communicate, design, and operate within the context of the public realm and urban realm. So what's great about European architects is they're global individuals. And you know, in the United States, there could be a lot of uh, parochial attitudes about design. And so creating this culture of communication between different countries allows for us to create uh, global experiences and global opportunities in how we do our design work. I think the, import the importance of bringing in overseas talent is that uh, through these cultural exchanges uh, we can share ideas, uh, we can show people how we work. Uh, we have young architects here today from Spain that are focused on trying to absorb as much as they can on how we go from concept design through completion and the way we deliver our work in the U.S. is very different than the way that work is delivered in Europe. And so for them to see how we actually produce our drawings and do our construction and follow through on construction supervision is important. As New Yorkers, we feel like New York is really the center of the world. So we see design as an export. Um, we want to basically export design to the rest of the world. And so New York is a great place to learn and to have access to all the cultural institutions of New York and all the art institutions of New York and to spread what those institutions are teaching all over the world. <laughs>